What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a quick training guide for Burkamp, Law and Berbatov. Now we did actually spin, we got Dennis Law and Burk Berbatov in a double pack, right? So I will do a video of that on the pack opening and I'll do a video of their in-game as well. But I genuinely think man that these players are definitely worth testing out. And I actually think that they're probably three players that like... Sometimes when you look at a player like Saviola, Romario, Michael Owen, you kind of know what you're getting with those cards. But with Dennis Law, Berbatov and Burkamp, I, f I finally feel like you need to really test and play with the cards because they will suit you if you are a technical player. You like holding up the ball. You like playing a little bit of possession, sprinkled in a little bit of one-touch passing. Kind of have a well-rounded game. I think these guys can be super fun. And we're going to start with Burkamp, right? So this build of Burkamp here is obviously going to be dependent on giving him the agility booster. So he does have the Fantasista booster at the start. We're going to give him the agility booster plus one. And that is going to incorporate the speed at 85. The balance is going to be at 91. Already it's at 90, but that's fine. But it's mostly about speed getting that to 85, acceleration at 90, and stamina at 90, okay? The rest of the stats are really, really nice. For kind of like a kind of a come collect the ball type Burkamp. He's not going to be your finisher, okay? If you're looking for a finisher, there's only one change that you need to make to him, okay? But this is the player progression. It's 5 into shooting, 3 into passing, 6 into dribbling, 13 into dexterity, and 11 into lower body. Very simple build. Kind of says exactly as it's going to be here on the tin. It does exactly what it says. You've got high attack and awareness, brilliant ball control, 91 plus uh, tight possession. If you're looking to turn him into a center forward, all you have to do is make this one change, okay? You're going to take all the passing out, you're going to take one dribbling, and you're just going to pop it two into shooting here, and then the rest you can do whatever you want with. It doesn't really make a difference. The jump is not going to make too much of a difference. It's, it's going to be largely irrelevant here um, if you want to do that. But that's going to put up his curl to 83, his finishing to 92, and of course you're still going to have the tight possession at 90. Low passes just reduce a little bit there as well if you want to, okay? So that is kind of where you're looking for if you want a striker build or an attacking midfielder build. So Dennis Law is slightly different. First up, we have kind of the meta build here, which is going to be a whopping 10 stats that are 90 or more. So a lot of people are going to use this kind of run and gun style Dennis Law uh, build where you're sacrificing his balance and his dexterity a little bit. You're not going to have 95 attack and awareness, but you are going to have his dribbling stats in the 90 zone. His heading is going to be 93. His jumping is going to be 99. We've actually thrown on agility on Dennis Law here, as you see. So that's going to increase speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina to the perfect point. With 90 speed, you've got 94 stamina, 80 balance, 92 acceleration. But as I said, this is more for a run and gun, not really kind of like, you know, all around play with Dennis Law, which I think is better. So I'm going to show you what I think is probably the best build for Dennis Law if you don't play just like one kind of like um, system the whole time, if you vary it up with possession and stuff. So this is the build. This is the secondary build that we have. Now this Dennis Law is going to be kind of off the shoulder of your other striker. So I would always play this Dennis Law. I think that this is a more well-rounded version of him. And the only big difference that you're making here is you're reducing his dribbling and his tight possession and ball control a little bit because he's still going to be run and gun, but you're not looking for him to be Saviola or Mario or Michael Owen. You're literally looking for him to be run and gun by having the balance at 85, the tight position at 85, and then huge speed, acceleration, and stamina that you see here, that he's able to cover a lot of ground, okay? Now, this build here is just slightly different. It's a 5-0-8-11-8-7-0-1 into goalkeeper 1 for the jumping to max it out at 99. So again, a very, very nice card. And then last but not least, we have Dimitar Berbatov. I'm going to be honest, boys. These cards, man, there's a lot of these cards that are definitely worth trying out and seeing what they're like. They're fun. They're fun cards, right? They're not going to be meta, meta, meta. But the game isn't all about meta, man. I think Dennis Law is brilliant. He's a really fun card. Berbatov has really impressed me as well. This is probably a very traditional role that you're going to be playing with Berbatov with this build that you see here. You've got the speed, the acceleration, the balance, very, very nice, and the tight possession at 90. You don't need to overcomplicate it with, with Berbatov, lads. You know what you're getting with him. You're going to have all the stats where you want them. You want that agility plus one as well, which is huge. And you're going to have everything that you could possibly want. You've got finishing, you've got heading, you've got curl, you've got tight possession and ball control really high. Balance is at 90. For a player this tall, man, and this was actually somebody was saying on the, on the, the chat when we were on earlier, I think that at this stage, man, you're always looking for kind of unique players. And if you look at the likes of what a lot of people consider one of the best CFs in the, for in the game, in Rudy Hullett, very similar kind of style. It was, I think it was OC who actually um, 
we're using his account here, so shout out to OC, but Dimitar Berbatov is only one centimetre shorter than Rudy Gullet, Rudy Hullet, and he's so technical, man. He's so fun to play with. So, yeah, that's three quick little builds for him. We'll be back with some gameplay as well, but until then, I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.